Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you my October favourites. If you haven't watched one of these before, it's a short video in which I show you all of my beauty, fashion, um, food favourites throughout the month of October 2013. Good chance for you guys to get feedback on stuff that maybe I've hauled in the past, give you an update as to if I'm loving it or not, and um, to just show you tried and tested products. So, that being said, let's get into it. First up is um, a perfume. This is Chloe de Rose, exactly the same as the original Chloe, except it has, to denote the rose, it has a uh, pink ribbon. And it smells absolutely divine. I just got myself the little one, Eau de Toilette 50 ml. I haven't smelled any Chloe's in the past. You need to go and smell them. This is, this is Chloe with a hint of rose, so the original, which is an absolute classic but with a touch of rose, and I've been wearing it all October since I got it. I'd really go recommend that you give that a sniff. Next up are these two concealers. They are both by MAC, and they're in two different shades, as you can see, and they're in the MAC Pro Longwear, the NW20 for underneath my eyes, and NW25 for on my face to conceal, and this has been an absolute godsend this month. I had really bad skin this month. Now on a course of Duac, which is a combination, it's a topical treatment. It's a combination of benzoyl peroxide and I think the antibiotic clindacin. I think that's how you pronounce it. These concealers have been absolutely amazing in hiding my acne. Super good for under the eye also. It dries and sets but does not dry into any of my fine lines that I have around my eye and it stays matte all day so for under eye you can really get a nice with NW20 you can get a really nice um, lightened and brightened under eye area that you don't have to worry about creasing and for unfortunate spots if you have spot prone skin or you have some pigmentation I would honestly give this a whirl. I was talking to the girls at my counter and they, I think the Pro Longwear concealers have quite a following. Next up to a sort of hygiene product. This is the Dove Compressed and it's the Go Fresh range and this is in the scent Cucumber and Green Tea. I really wanted to show you, I picked up Dove by accident, but the smell is amazing. It smells so good and fresh. I love these compressed cans. Been recently testing out the Shaw Compressed uh, called Cotton Fresh is the fragrance and I've been doing a whole beauty challenge um, with that. You can check it out on my blog. Um, I went to Ashtanga Yoga and put compressed deodorants to the test and see uh, to see if they work as well as their, you know, bigger, full-sized cans, and they absolutely 100% do. They are absolutely amazing for women on the go. You can pop them in your bag, spritz up throughout the day, or um, leave it in your gym bag. Um, but they're absolutely amazing. I love this scent, pomegranate, and I mean, sorry, cucumber and green tea. I also love the pomegranate, which is by Dove, and definitely check out the Sure Compressed range because the Cotton Fresh one that I um I just finished. Um, so I had to show you a new can that I got, but the sure Cotton Fresh is perfecto. Um, I've been loving Nails Inc. I was kind enough to be sent this um, polish, and it is an absolutely beautiful purple. It's called Chiswick Park, and QVC have brought it out to celebrate their 25 year anniversary, and it's such a beautiful royal purple. It looks a lot darker on this camera, but... Oh, it's the nicest texture as well, creamy and just great. Um, and this top coat may rival, well, I don't know, it could rival Sesh Feet. It's thinner consistency, and it gives you is amazing. And this is the um, Kensington Caviar Top Coat. It's quite a mouthful. That purple though, oh, you got to try it. It's so opaque, so creamy. Absolutely gorgeous royal purple if you like the sort of deep autumnal colours. Finally, a hair product. This is by Nano Keratin. This is the Nano Keratin System Revitalize, Revitalizing Mask. It's a smoothing treatment for natural hair. Number one, the pot you get, 500 mils, is it's like as big as my head. It's absolutely ginormous. But you need the smallest amount of product now. It's, it's like goo. Look at that. It's so rich and thick it's like jelly it's not gonna go anywhere oh, it smells amazing 
I do a hair mask, I don't know about you guys, but I do a hair mask, face mask, all that pampering once a week. I can just, I can just tell on a, on a Monday that I've, I've put this on on Sunday night. My hair is just hydrated, it's smooth, it's so much more light reflective and glossy. I actually got a really good tip. Work it through your ends, wrap it in towel, keep it warm. If you've got a warm towel off the radiator, that'd be great. Wrap it up and then soak in the bath for 20 minutes and rinse it off. The shine it gives you is, it's crazy. That is my October favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if any of these are in your favourites for the month of October. If you have any recommendations off of the back of this stuff that you think I should try, please also let me know in the comments because that'd be fantabulous because I love to try new stuff. Don't forget you can always find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. My YouTube name is Lizfish1. Um, I also have a blog post on the short compressed deodorants. It's elizabethcamillefisher.blogspot.com. Guys, I look forward to seeing you next Sunday at 6 when I upload my new video. Um, I'll see you then guys. Take care. Bye.